Welcome to another episode of Talk the Talk with me, Dish Ballet Etchen. This is an exclusive interview featuring Michelle York, and she's the general manager from South African Guild of Motoring Journalists. Well, they're also known as SA Guild of Mobility Journalists. <laughs> um, and we are recording from the Kailami Grand Prix circuit on behalf of the Festival of Motoring. Now, SA Guild of Mobility Journalists um, celebrates its 60th birthday soon. Can you believe? And I am so excited about that. Um, when I entered into the motoring trade, Michelle York was one of my very first supporters. Uh, she entered me into most of the databases. She put me on uh, as a journalist with all the OEMs. And, you know, she really was a pillar of strength for me to move forward with my career, became a member, and I'm still a member of the Guild, a Guild created by motoring journalists for motoring journalists creating networks and training opportunities to upskill media on any platform. The Guild also has a benevolent fund which assists members in terms or in times of financial needs. Uh, they really have been my backbone uh, for the longest time. So without further ado, let's welcome Michelle York. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by City to Solutions and MFC and Evo by NetBank. Hello Michelle, I'm so so glad that you are here. Um, there is unfortunately because of all the noise we're gonna have to exchange mics and do it this way. So um, yeah, we, we're not gonna be able to have a normal in-studio <laughs> conversation. Um, but I'm gonna keep passing the mic over to you so that you can explain to us where you are at now with SAGMJ. But before we even talk about them, I love the motoring, uh, um, you know, the guild and all of that and what they stand for. But I also love you as a person, <laughs> as a human being and for what you've done for my career. So I just want to first, you know, talk a little bit about Michelle. Where did this all begin for you? And um, yeah, where are you at now in terms of your career? That's a very, very long answer, but we're going to keep it short. Um, I did my very, very first car launch purely by accident. I had a, a, a natural knack for writing and I attended my very first car launch back in 2007. Um, purely by accident. I, I, someone asked me if I wanted to go on a launch. Um, I went on the launch and I fell in love. Oh. And a very little known fact about me is that I have been writing articles since 2007 and with the exception for a very brief stint when I stood in for Aurelia Mbakazi uh, uh, at Destiny magazine when she was pregnant, I have never been paid a cent for my articles. It's always been a labor of love. Um, and just the planets aligned and I became the general manager of the Guild. And I absolutely love it. I love the people. It's a family. It mm -hmm. genuinely is a family. Mm -hmm. And it makes me so happy when I see somebody like you doing so amazingly. It, it makes my heart so proud. Aww. It's why I do it. So, yeah, that's the short answer. The Guild is still the Guild. Uh, we've adapted a lot in the last few years. I think everyone has. But I think that's me in a nutshell. So, Michelle, in terms of um, your objectives uh, as a company uh, as a platform what what now where do we go uh, what what are we looking forward to um, in terms of like I said the platform that you are it's a bit of a challenge because you must remember the guild initially was created for very traditional media your print your broadcast um, car magazines it was you know the domain of male petrol heads mm -hmm. and Obviously, we've seen the shift, we've seen women come into the industry, we have seen the rise of social media and other digital platforms, which has pretty much turned the media industry on its head a little bit, mm -hmm, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I think initially there was a lot of, I don't want to say animosity, but the more traditional journalists couldn't quite understand what this new media was about. Mm -hmm. We've finally reached a point now where I think everyone is embracing all aspects of media. So as the guild, we have to adapt mm -hmm. um, and make our membership base all inclusive. And that is a very, very timeless process that we've been busy with. But we, there's very exciting things coming up uh, mm -hmm. shortly. A lot of them I can't talk about yet, but right, right. yeah, there's a, couple of, there's a couple of things in the pipeline that have really got me excited. Well, I'm going to get the first scoop of that I know off air, <laughs> but uh, I want to ask you, 
what can young females look forward to in terms of endeavoring or exploring opportunities as journalists in our trade? Well, Desh, just like I gave you all the information in my old brain, I try to do the same for the youngsters. I want to go out of my way, especially young females, to encourage them. This is no longer a male-dominated industry. We're allowed to share our own opinions uh, with our own level of expertise. Yeah. And I think empowering people to do that mm -hmm. is what we want to do. So in the long term, um, as opposed to okay again I've got to, I've got to word this so carefully because there's things happening let's just say that we are working at not just providing the driving skills as was probably more prevalent in the past we've taken a very holistic approach and you'll be seeing a lot of programs being rolled out we've done a few test ones with public speaking because not everyone is comfortable speaking on a microphone Absolutely. in front of cameras. Uh, that is a, a skill that I think if you're coming into the industry now, it's vital. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Industries like understand, I mean, uh, courses like understanding social media, what to post on which platform, how the algorithms work. So it's become a lot more than just petrol heads going fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In terms of Michelle at home, I follow Michelle <laughs> at home. Her and her mom have the most amazing conversations, which as a journalist, we writers do that. We want to depict everything that we experience. Um, who is Michelle at home? I know you have also recently bought this beautiful uh, home inside a van. I'm not sure what it's called. <laughs> she has her own little RV here in South Africa. But tell me more about Michelle at home, your mom, your... Uh, what's going on? Okay, this is going to shock you a little bit, but I am an insane introvert. <laughs> <laughs> introvert yeah so you know I, I turn it on when I'm out in public but uh, at home I lead a very very quiet life I don't like going out I chill at home I um, enjoy my solitude mm -hmm. I like to recharge my battery mm -hmm. uh, I live with an absolutely insane mother and five rescue dogs uh, which makes life very very interesting um, as you know, I, I, I do mock my mother extensively on social media. She is not on social media, which is why I can do it, because she doesn't know that I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. So if she knew the stories I was telling on social media, she would have an absolute heart attack. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I'm a closet petrol head, I'm a homebody, uh, I enjoy traveling, and I built it. COVID sort of made me go crazy, and I built out the most insane van. You want to check it out? Go on Instagram. My handle there is um, at old bat van chat because I'm old and I'm a bat. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but go check it out. I promise you. I call it my um, cowboy disco brothel. It, it's it's a van like no other, but it's a, a pet project. So Mish, um, I know that you are flying under the radar with me right now. But are there any special projects that you actually can talk about? In like you know, let's be journalists about this. <laughs> okay, and do and and. and entice our listeners. Okay, this is a biggie, so so, so uh, just brace yourself. I apologize to my ex-co that I know I'm doing this. <laughs> I'll, I'll apologize afterwards. Um, as you know, this is Guild's 60th birthday. I mean, that's amazing. 60 years. 60 years of um, being part of this incredible industry. And I pitched an idea to our ex-co and they loved it. And we are, for our 60th birthday, we are going to do an interview series where we will get together with legends, Roger McCleary, Stuart Johnston, the, the, yeah, Lerato Matabisi. That's amazing. Uh, you know, uh, get together with all our members, old and new, and get them to tell us about their absolutely insane experiences with vehicles at launches. Uh, you, you've been at launches uh, where you sit and listen to the guys tell the stories. Yeah. We want to capture those stories Aww. and make it a year-long project wow. um, where we will feature um, the interviews. So we will do short-form content series online and then put the entire videos in their, in their entirety on YouTube. Wow. But uh, the recent loss of some really big industry yeah. players a lot. has hit us hard. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we want to get those stories on film because those are legends and when they're gone, those stories are gone with them. Michelle, I want to say thank you so much for everything you have done for my career, for being a pillar of strength, for giving me that push 
in the beginning and uh, you still be seven eight years and you still be still cheering me on and um, I appreciate you so much viewers we would like to thank you for your continued support and encourage you to like and share our content our non-profit companies the motoring woman of the year awards powered by MFC and Evo by NetBank and the Talk the Talk Studios, sponsored by Seriti Solutions and Evo by NetBank, are platforms aimed at empowering, uplifting and celebrating the women of motoring South Africa. We are not just telling stories, we are changing lives. If you are searching for a new or pre-owned vehicle, please visit www.auto.evo Africa. We have a wide range of vehicles on sale for you to choose from and we only advertise on behalf of reliable and trustworthy MFC accredited dealerships. This car listing portal is user friendly and you can also find vehicle reviews, car maintenance tips and automotive advice or courtesy of Talk the Talk Studios. Ladies, a lot of problems in the world would be solved if we talked to each other instead of about each other. And I'm talking about this because uh, when I entered the, into the trade, Michelle was really, really a pillar of strength and still is. A woman should advocate for each other and stop bringing each other down. So talk to each other. Communication is a skill that you can learn. It's like riding a bicycle or typing. If you're willing to work at it, you can rapidly improve the quality of every part of your life. Communication leads to community, that is to understanding and mutual, mutual valuing conversation is king. Content uh, is just something to talk about. In teamwork, silence isn't golden, it's deadly. So, everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. And with that, I would like to remind you that the question isn't who's going to let me. It should always be who's going to stop me.